What's up guys, it's Rocky here, welcome back to the game with Cosplay. Today we have the new update, this is being uploaded before a video I recorded over the weekend. Anyways, today we're going to be getting on how to get the free-to-play Goku player from Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, for those of you who don't know. Before we get into that, if you guys enjoy Dragon Ball Legends content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I try to upload Dragon Ball Legends content every single day at 5pm central standard time as well as hit the notification bell to get notified as soon as i upload any other gameplay that's anime related i am trying to really just focus and <laughs> really on dragon ball legends right now so i'm doing my very best at making sure i'm trying to stay as consistent as possible but i got naruto baruto i have uh fist of the north star i've got digimon i've got quite a bit of games that i have ready to go just got to be very very particular about this anyways as well as let's try to get to 15 likes on today's video so before we jump into the event number one thing you're going to want to do even if you don't play very much log in every day we are getting bonuses right now for this free to play goku that being said here we go we're going to go ahead and, and do something a little bit differently today we're going to go ahead and jump into missions so i can show you they want you to grind very very much for this game for this character but we meaning me i'm going on a journey and i'm going to use as many energy tickets on this event as possible and then we'll see what happens for the new year or second year anniversary my, my bad not new year's second year anniversary but look at this i scrolled all the way to the bottom because 1950 energies if you don't have energy tickets you can only get 10 a day without having to use your chrono crystals 1000 950 energy for this Goku. Now, the reason I'm going to go ahead and go on this journey for you guys is I want to literally do it out and bang it out. I'm going to try to do this in one day. So I'm literally, after this video, I'm going to take like a five hour energy and I'm going to use a lot of my skip tickets for this event and see if it's worth it. So if you guys could hit that subscribe button or actually hit that like button to, uh, up the ante on this video i would appreciate it but we're definitely going to do that and uh lock in on that now here comes the guides we're going to events and he's actually very very good so far i like the way he fights and he has by far the best winning stance out of all characters right now he's on the nimbus and his fight mechanics to me has been my favorite so far as well and he's free to freaking play anyways so you're going to do your end up doing your basic stuff here. I'm going to show you the rewards what you get. You get your items here. You can get your apple. You can get your prime marbled dino meat. Which these items are from Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Which is a cool combination with the collab with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot that I absolutely like. Then you'll have Gogen's Krillin. Which will you also get apples and your dino meat here. But where you're really going to want to focus on is this these three tiers here. These three in the middle, specifically, and I'll break it down here in a minute as well. But, we're going to go ahead and skip those for now. This is where you'll get 500 uh, of the uh, Rising Souls for Kakarot Goku, as well as the Apple and Dino Meat. You will also get it here. But this one, you'll get Energetic, en energetic Fish, as well as the Super Souls for Kakarot. On your first time, let me be clear on that. On both of those, it's only the first time. Uh, clears as well as this one you get more of those but the challenges are a little bit harder for these as well those is where you're going to get more of your chronos and you're really not going to want to do it once you've completed everything you don't really need to do it your main focus is literally going to be these three so we're going to start up from the left and go to the right so with trunks you're going to be getting your rising souls here and you're going to need a total let me go over here for this Kakarot, let me go into this Hold on one second. Where is it at? There it is. All right, so now I'm gonna get into how many souls it's gonna take, and Zenny and all that stuff that it's gonna take to get him completely boosted all the way. You're gonna need 36.37 million Zenny. You're gonna need 3,854 Kakarot Rising Souls. You're gonna need 580 Red Souls Level One. You need a total of 36 Super Souls Kakarot. You're going to need a total of Super Soul Red uh, 2. 580 of the Rising Soul Level 2 Red. 2 Super Soul 2s. 
Rising Soul 3 is going to need 602. Super Soul 3, you're going to need two of those. You're going to need 580 Rising Souls 4. Two Rising Soul, or Super Souls 4. You're going to need 558 Rising Soul 5. And you're going to need uh, two Super Soul 5s. And you're going to need a total of 558 Rising Soul 6. Two Super Souls 6. And a total of 542 Rising Soul 7. So I'm going to go ahead and knock out everything that I possibly can for this character. Because he is pretty dang fantastic. I like the way he looks. I like the way he moves. It's pretty fun. And we're going to go ahead and do this right now. Is we're going to get into the team build. So the team you're going to want to go with is right here on the screen. As you guys can see right now. So the reason being you're going to want to go on this team is because you're going to get your boost here. So for this Goku here. Let's, let's change the order a little bit. Let's put this over here. Switch them. Let's switch this. Let's put them there. Let's take them all out. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Super Saiyan 3 here. Then we got our Goku there. Okay, there we go. So, now I can get into it. With the first two Gokus with the Kakarot Goku and the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, you're going to be getting a boost to your Z power drop for Goku, Kakarot. You're going to get one for each of these characters. For the Super Saiyan Goku, the green unit right here in the corner, you're going to get one extra Super Soul drop boost for that. And then for the last three on the bottom, you're going to be getting two from Super Saiyan 3 Goku, one from the Spirit Bomb Goku, and one from the Kid Goku for the uh, Rising Souls drop boost. So you're going to get the character shards from the Kakarot and Super Saiyan 2, Super Souls from the green Goku Super Saiyan, and then Super Saiyan 3, Spirit Bomb Goku, and Kid Goku. You're going to be getting a total of four Rising Soul boosts per energy spent. So now we're going to go ahead and look at the um, exchange shop to show you what you need to do in cycle of using your uh, meats, your fish, and your apples. So, of course, what you're going to want to do is go to Dragon Ball Z over here, uh, crossing Dragon Ball Legends, crossing over Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. You're going to want to do energy tickets first. Hands down, energy tickets first will save you a lot. It'll save you a lot of chronos that you're going to think you're going to need to spend, which you won't need to, and your skip tickets. Like, that's what I'm going to do to help boost myself up and get that done. Um, if you don't have any training items, Gold Bell would be a, a definite necessity for this Kakarot. Right now is a good time if you're brand new to the channel or brand new to Dragon Ball Legends. Hop in on this free-to-play character right now as soon as possible. Get as many as much of the story as done as possible because you're going to be spending hours on the story. Getting all those free chronos because the second year anniversary is very, very close. It's about three to four weeks away, guys. It's it's coming. It's coming very fast. By the time this login stuff is done, we're going to be starting on the second anniversary. So I'm just preparing you guys to be ready for that and be really excited. So, um, and then, of course, after all that, you do your tickets, you do your skip tickets. I would recommend doing the Z Power. And also, another tip too, if you don't mind not getting this unit and you just want them at a regular base, just get them. You're going to do it be, by finishing the two um, missions and logging in as of today. This is literally the day, at least actually an hour and a half of the time recording this video after the update. If you do it right now, you do the two fights at the beginning of his event, you'll get him unlocked. So if you don't care about anything else and you just want him unlocked, there you go. Save your energy, save your chronos, save your skip tickets, save all that stuff for the second year anniversary because it's so close. They're throwing us some good stuff right now so we can literally be in trouble for the second year anniversary. I say. This is, I would consider this a banger because it's a free-to-play character and the way he moves is very, very unique and very fun. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Go bring it to Mommy. Mommy will open it for you. So we're going to go ahead and just go in with the trunks. I'll, I'll need to auto. I'm just going to auto it. I want you guys to see the finisher. We're only going to go in with Kakarot just to show you guys how cool his fighting style is. We're going to show you the vanishing gauge and the way he fights. It is just fantastic. I absolutely love 
everything about this unit. He's literally very, very amazing. Like, look at him. All right. So, sorry about that. My daughter was uh, a little bit fussy. But, look at the strike. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. That is freaking fantastic. Now, we're going to go ahead and let our Vanishing Gauge charge up real quick. Do this special skill. The extra bonus here. Now, I just did the Vanishing Gauge. Uh, the sidestep. Look, even when you sidestep, just look at that. That's crazy. And we get a boost from the main ability, and we're going to end it off with this combo. Uh -huh. With everything about it, it just looks cool. Now, look at this. This is by far the coolest freaking outro, and so nostalgic, so original. I absolutely love that outro, regardless of everything. It's absolutely fantastic. And then we get more for the Rising Souls right there. So, that's all I have for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite, and share with a friend or two or three. As always, live free, work hard, and base on. Join me later today at 5 p.m. for some more Dragon Ball Legends content. Bye, guys. For more daily content, subscribe here. If you want to see more of my daily life and behind-the-scenes stuff, subscribe here. If you want to see some other games I play, click here. Also, if you want to check out my main channel for dance videos, topics, and solo adventures, click here. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload new content on all my channels. Bye, guys.